it's King Tuts Pro. In today's video, I want to let you know that my newest pack has just been released. If you guys go and visit the link, uh, which I'll also provide down in the description of this video, I do have the other two LUTs currently on sale right now until Saturday. So here is this one here, as you can see. Honestly, uh, one of my favorite LUT packs that I've released to date. It's just, it's just absolutely amazing and the possibilities are endless. You just simply click and drag it onto your media and you're done. I'm using Final Cut Pro, so I'll go over to the effects and then we're gonna go to the color and you're gonna go to the custom LUT. Make sure you're on the newest version to have this option enabled. So just click and drag custom LUT onto your video clip. And then next to LUT, you're gonna see have all of these added already. Uh, yours are probably going to be empty or you might have other ones from other, maybe you've already imported LUTs, they're going to be listed here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to choose custom LUT and then in the folder that you have uh, downloaded here, you're going to have all of the cube uh, and LUT files and you're going to click import. I've already done that. So you just click open and it'll add it to the list here. And then you can go down and select them depending on which kind of look you want. So. Uh, this is going to be the after hours one as you can see really cool stuff feel free to experiment with all of these to get a certain look of course certain LUT or color grade LUTs will look better on certain clips uh, so for this one i'm going to go with the golden hour one because i think this one looks just perfect for this clip here so here's a before and after and again you can then change the mix or the strength of the overall look of this so if you want to kind of more of that original color you can do that or if you want more of a, you know color graded uh, look then drag it to the right next one we're going to be doing is the matrix the so same thing just add a custom LUT effect onto the video clip then go over to LUT and then choose the one that you want to use so I'm going to go to number 20 the matrix retro LUT and you can see in a matter of seconds it completely changes the look of the video the next one here we have is the after hours so I'm going to do that again and then change the LUT to the after hours one for this one. So here's a before and then after. Super cool. This one definitely works the best on uh, on clips that have a lot of highlights. And then last but not least, we have the Lucid Dream. So I'm going to drag that one as well. So I'm going to go to this here and change this one to Lucid Dreams. And this is that purplish look. Again, you can then change the mix here. If you think it's too strong, just bring it down. And uh, yeah, so here's all of the looks here. Really cool stuff. And you can really get uh, creative with all of these. Guys, so I am now in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here's the video that I wanna be using. I'm just gonna click and drag this into the timeline to create a sequence. Of course, I'm gonna mute the audio for now. What you wanna do is go over to the effects and uh, it's probably gonna look like this. If it's not like this, just go over to like window and then just change the workspace to effects. Uh, or maybe just reset the layout if it's uh, in a different location. But overall, what you want to do is go over to the Lumetri Color tab and then go to the uh, video that you have selected. And then you're going to go next to Lumetri Color, go under the Basic Correction tab next to Input LUT. Right now it's going to say None is Selected. We're going to click Browse. I want to use the after hours lot which is number one so i'm gonna click open and this is what it looks like so this is before and after and man it looks absolutely amazing i mean look at the difference it makes i'll catch you guys on my next uh tutorial peace